Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are playing some more Deep Rod Galactic. This is going to be for the Elite Deep Dive. This is called Gunner's Enclosure, so we're going to be taking our gunner for it. So this is the build that I'm going to be running with it. My primary weapon is going to be minigun. I'm not going to be taking any overclocks this time, uh, just for added challenge to see how well this goes. For a secondary, Bulldog Heavy Revolver set up like this. For my pickaxe, this is what I'm running. Shield Disruption, I'm running full duration and larger shield there. For the zipline launcher, I have the connector unit and disconnection protection as well as longer reach. Taking the incendiary grenade as our grenade, and then I am running this for my current armor setup. For perks, I'm running these perks right here, and for Bosco, I'm going to be running him like this. And then for our daily beer, we have Skull Crusher's Ale, which will help us get a bit more melee damage. Let's see how this one goes. Alright, what do we got? We've got... I think that's a point extract? I want to say it's a point extract. Yep, point extract, black box, shield disruption, fantastic, okay. Well, this one's going to be kind of tough. Yes, Busco, get him. Okay, then do it again, thank you. I'm going to try to take that, I probably could have just let that fall on it, oh well. Alright, ooh. That's not good. That's really not good. I actually got hit. Okay. Take him out, Bosco. I'm gonna be trying to take all these out. And not get hit too much by that. Ow. that. Okay. I think we have this under control now. I do have Bosco to get these at least. Let's try to get some nitro and some uh, health. I need that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that sweet tooth value. <laughs> Don't really need like born ready or anything with this build since the minigun doesn't need to reload. I don't know why I still have sweet tooth on there. I guess it was still the movement speed buff. Thank you, Busco. You wanna grab that one, buddy? Alright, put that there. I do need to get a Steve as well. Oh, Bosco, you already got that? Cool. You get that one. I need 10 in total. Okay. We also knew if there was a guard or something that showed up or a slasher so I could get a decent Steve. Alright, first swarm. Let's go. Got all that. There's another one. Even an, an overclocked revolver seems pretty good. <laughs> Same with the minigun. Miniguns really good without overclocks, too. I mean, both of them have some really awesome overclocks. But. Oh, wait, do I have. That's right, I do have Skull Crusher's Ale. I even said that at the start of this video. Hey, Bosco! Dash away real quick. Alright, I'm gonna still be trying to get Bosco to grab some stuff while we're in the middle of this fight, because I can't really not be doing that right now. We want to get through the escort, or sorry, not escort missions. You do want to get through escort missions usually fast, but not as fast as like point extracts. They definitely benefit from going quick. Huh. There. 
Thank you, Busco. If only you could strap these to Steve, too. <laughs> Just give him a little backpack. Put a crystal or two in it. Steve should be strong enough to carry him, I think. I got spit at. Sounds like I got spit at. Maybe not. Yeah. Hey, Bosco. Bosco, come here. Yeah, drop that, buddy. I think the black box is up there somewhere. Oh, it's in a different cave. That's interesting. You can actually just dig right to there. Maybe. I don't know if that's a great idea now that I think about it. Because that'll just leave another way that they can get in. No, let's go. Oh, it's got to be this way. Okay. See if we can do this before like another swarm shows up, because if we get another one, that's gonna suck. We're just gonna have to deal with too much stuff at that point. Alright. Get rid of the mushrooms just so we're not taking that passive damage. That'd be annoying. Oh, hello! <laughs> Stuff coming, but that's okay. Black box ready and booting. We'll lose the connection if you don't stay close by it, so try not to leave the triangulation zone marked. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Oops, I meant to throw a flare. And there's a bulk. I think it's in the other room, though. So, we're okay. As long as it doesn't come through the wall or something. So we just chose, like, the... Not the worst... ...time to do this, but pretty close to it. a great spot to call that in, but it's okay. There we go. Oh yeah, we got it done just in time. The bulk's here now. I'm gonna try to loop back around. Maybe. Yeah. Loop back around and get our resupply. Gonna hopefully be able to get two. Yeah. Fan of the bulk detonator being in here. Ah. Quite a bit of stuff here. She's kind of surprised. No, they killed Steve. How could they? Oh, whoops. Back up there in a second. Okay. 
Get rid of the bug detonator. Then we can go back up there. Hey, maybe that'll get rid of Yeah, I got rid of the geyser too. Heck yeah. Thanks, bug. Much appreciated. Alright, I gotta get Bosco to mine one of those other ones. We'll grab our other resupply. We'll grab, uh, I guess whatever more nitro we can hold. And then we'll get out of here. Mine. Grab that. Right. I guess kill the menace too, because why not? I'm betting that the escape pod's also going to crash up here. It just looks like a convenient place for it. Which might be nice, because then we can grab that last resupply on the way out. If that is true. It might not be. Okay. So far, like a pretty tough first stage. Point extracts can kind of add up in time. Black box isn't always the easiest to hold, especially if you get like the swarm and the bulk there. Like what we did. Um, and shield disruption, I don't know if I said that. Shield disruption is one of the worst mutators. Bosco, come here. Thank you, thank you. Alright, put that more. there. And then send this. Are and, and we'll go down to the next stage. I guess I'll grab gold and I'll try to grab some nitro before we go too. Because I got enough for a resupply, but it would be nice to have another one. I like the fact that there's a trash out here. No, oh, multiple trash outs. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> It's going to be here in 30 seconds. I think I would just want to be up here in general because it's going to be easier than being down here to try to find the pod. Probably. I don't know that for sure, but... Okay, I can't just walk very closely on that edge. Stage completed. Proceed to the extraction zone. Is the extraction zone over here? That is <laughs> okay. Well, either way. Watch the incendiary grenade. Let's grab our last resupply. Oh, they killed our Steve again. Departing in T minus three minutes. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Ah, uh, no. Get out the way. Okay, that is a very inconvenient spot for us to have gotten knocked off at. Can use this. To get back up now. Alright. Oops, 
that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's bad. Run, let me jump. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. I did not mean to call that resupply down. I just wanted to throw on my shield. I ended up accidentally bumping that one though. Okay. Well, rip that resupply then. At least we have full ammo for the next mission. Hopefully we don't really need that extra resupply. No, if I hadn't get knocked if I hadn't got knocked off there by that uh, oppressor. I think we would have been fine, and I wouldn't have fat fingered the button. Parasites, collect more kite, kill a dreadnought. Okay. Um, that one should be fine. That one's probably going to be pretty chill. Usually, mining missions aren't too crazy. Parasites is one of the better mutators. And depends which dreadnought we get, but Gunner should be able to fight all of them pretty easily. At least with this setup. I mean, really, with any of their setups. Alright. Oh, hey. Got my health back. Found the dreadnought. <laughs> How convenient. I see some nitro up there. Um, as soon as this leaves, we can actually just start this. Actually, that's gold. I mean, no, that's just rock. Never mind. Alright, well. Which dread not is it? Regular dread. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Give me some life. <laughs> Give me some life, Bosco. First stage done. And I hope he does his slam so I can sit next to him and then just shoot him with the minigun. Right now, he's not doing that. There's a slam. Kind of came at the end of his thing, but that's okay. Okay. Dreadnought down. Easy enough. Now we just got to do a regular mining mission. Where we've got a couple of uh, parasites to deal with. That was actually fairly quick. Not that I should be too surprised. Gunner is pretty good at taking out big stuff. Gunner's pretty good at taking out just about everything. You are probably the most straightforward class out of any class. We got contact miners. Swarm headed your way. Oh, we got a swarm? Okay. I found one thing to mine. But it was just <laughs> Nitra. And then I've just been waiting for Molly. The swarm is upon you. How big is the swarm gonna be? <laughs> 
really big, not so big. It's, I don't know if that's dry jar or not. I haven't looked back, but I just always assume it is like. No, it's a regular one. Steve, fight for us. Okay. There's also got to be a spawner around here somewhere. There's a lot of the little ones showing out. A lot of the swarmers too. Which that isn't connected to a spawner, but the green ones are. I'm out of bullets. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, there's a spotter here. Yeah, kind of surprised it didn't light you on fire. <laughs> Got to make sure we're completely out of ammo. <laughs> All right. At least I did get enough uh, nitra. Call in a resupply. I still got shields. And we still got a Steve. Steve, look out! Dang it, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve's down. Hey, I found a couple veins of Morkite. So far, I've only found one. This is kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, and then we get swarmed. Uh. Get a Steve yet either. It's unfortunate. Alright. Molly, where did you go? <laughs> There's a warden before. That's not good. <laughs> I got back from getting the resupply and went to go through the wall, and uh, apparently, more things followed me than I first thought. I had my shield. I think I had my dash. It really sucks that I got hit by a slasher there at the very end of that, though. That's the worst. No, no, I guess it was like a web spitter's the worst. Oh, sorry, Steve. Didn't mean to hit you, buddy. Yeah, I just need 20 more. 23 more, technically. There's still more stuff coming. Okay, you guys got him. I think that should be all the more kite that we need. Go! Oh. Let's go! Let's go! He's not gonna kill it in time. I don't have enough health. That's okay. I should have been checking for leeches. I was originally when we first got in here, but. I decided not to. More health. Yeah. Where is that damn you? Right. Now there's another storm. Alright, well, this is all the more kite that I need. So 
Objective completed. Let's do this. Um, I guess we'll fight through the horde. And then we'll go. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain to get through all this. There's plenty of uh, tunnels and stuff on this map. If it was a bigger map, I'd consider just leaving. Like, throughout here, we'll be fine to move through, but... Then it just goes narrow tunnel to narrow tunnel. Rocket here, Bosco! Can you freeze it? Thank you. Oh, we lost our other Steve, too. I don't know when that happened, but. Definitely gonna need a resupply on the next map. Tried to make him into a Steve, but it didn't work. Huh. Maybe my Steve is still alive. That could be what's going on. Maybe he just wandered off and he didn't actually die. <laughs> Put myself on fire there. Okay, now we can leave. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna want that. Okay. Let's go. Deep dive stage wrapping up. Looks like I should be able to get to there from here. And hopefully that grenade takes care of everything there. <laughs> oh yeah. I make my escape. <laughs> okay, this is actually where my resupply was. Just over there, I believe. Yeah, two bullets left, 70, <laughs> six shots left with this. Still got my strong pickaxe, though. Since the skull, or er, Slayer Stout? Yeah, Slayer Stout. Still going. Maybe it's Skull Crush, I don't remember. Whichever one is the one that gives you more. Damage on your pick. Just toss that there, just for safety. I don't want to get flung off by the oppressor. All right. As soon as we get to the next mission, we're gonna need a resupply. Stage two completed. Another blank. Cool. I can use that for stuff. And then we've got Sormageddon Low Gravity on an oil rig mission with eggs. Okay. That's going to take a while. This week's deep dive is kind of long then, because there wasn't a whole lot of mining to be done for the first half of that mission. The elimination part was pretty easy. And then that first part with the aquarics and with the black box usually takes it some time. Maybe not the most time, but some time. Okay. 
third stage of the deep dive. Aww. This one is looking tough, to say the least. Management this one's looking tough, to say the least. I think it looks okay. So we're getting, I don't have a great build for, because I don't have that much AoE. Yeah, light them all on fire. Call this in. I think I've got a shield. I got one shield left. Fantastic. All right. Grab them. This doesn't look like a bad layout for an oil rig mission. <laughs> and low gravity does help. Okay. Oh, okay, I see how I can get to this one pretty easily. That's cool. I'm just hoping I don't get swarmed too much. At least I got thorns too. Yeah, there we go. Ow! <laughs> Punch me. I'm trying to just do my job here. Yeah, low gravity's awesome for this. Then I gotta climb back up there again. Blip the size of a drop pod. Swarm as well? Okay. Dang it. <laughs> Don't got the hops yet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that'll be fine. It's gonna have to go over here and then kind of curve. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping I landed over here, but I honestly couldn't tell where I was going. Uh, pump jacks over there. Okay. Actually, I did bring fire grenades, so I do kind of have AOE. Very limited. You can also get a Steve. And for this, I would like to get a guard. I can find one. Just because I. I kind of just need him to take care of Swarmers, so he doesn't need to be doing extra damage like a Slasher. I hope this goes the right way. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. I might have wanted to check that before just going, but... There we go. <laughs> Can you get that one, Busco? Is that our horde egg? No, it's not. Okay, this one's our horde egg, man. I have a feeling that this mission is gonna be almost like non-stop fighting. 
Which I'm okay with. No, no more fire grenades. Fire then. And our last pump jack needs to be called in over here. Okay. Send a pump jack, please. Pump jack launched. Stay clear from the impact zone. Frasco, can you do that one? Oh yeah, you still had the egg. Thanks, buddy. I've got extra melee damage. Well, that'll take out this thing pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Oppressors take a decent amount of extra damages from melee, and it counts no matter where you're hitting them. So, it's useful to hit them with a power attack. It's also very useful just to smack them with a pickaxe normally. Great job. First pipeline between pump okay. and refinery established. I'll be dreaming of pipes tonight. Hey, that was. <laughs> hey, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Ignore that last part. <laughs> Zack, like it never happened. Busco, you want to do this? I guess I'll go get the other egg. Then we'll fight our swarm, and then we'll be ready to go. Awesome. This has been an interesting deep dive. Bunker up, team. Swarm incoming. The loot bugs, they're around my resupply. They want the bullets. Oh, they took out Steve. That's unfortunate. I can't get another Steve though. Ah, I didn't even see it. Let's go. Assist me. Thank you. Much appreciated. Ow. Okay. No. Blue bug. Uh, I got caught on him. You're adorable and all, but I don't need your assistance at the moment, at least not that way. Quite a lot of things here. Wow. Okay. No, I want my shield. 
Oh, my shield just... Oh, that's right. <laughs> I sent it out. I was like, oh, I still got another shield. But no, I was just fighting inside of a shield. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Oh, well, that's charged. We stand in the fire. We all burn. Oh, well, I'm going to go blind now. Oh, oh, never mind. Take him out, Steve. Oh. Poor Steve. And then we just got to deposit the eggs, get this thing ready. I'll probably call in another resupply. Never mind, it won't. It might be best to get some more. Yeah, I got three resupplies here. Getting more ammo. I should be fine. I don't think I'll need another one after that. I mean, I'll grab this stuff as we go, but I don't think it's entirely necessary. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe it is necessary. At least it's a Magterra swarm, though. This build's pretty good against Magterra. No! no I had to reload. Let's go! Thank you. Wait, is that another one? It might be. That one didn't look like it had taken any damage on its health bar. There's no regenerative bugs as of right now. Yeah. Ah. Let's go. Oh. That was unfortunate. Uh. All right. Well, I'm left with one more down. Let's look this up. Kill the grabber, that's what got me the last time. Alright. Let's get the refinery. Oh, wait, we don't. Can't quite get the refinery open. Or I guess up and running, not open. And I do have enough for a resupply just in case we need it. Go away, big guys. <laughs> I don't need you here. I've been bumping into you the whole time. At least it feels like it. I don't know if I actually have. Return to the refinery and start off the pump sequence. Okay. Nitro has been withdrawn and supply pod is inbound. Go, go, go. Resupply arrived. The liquid morkite is being extracted. Refinery and all pump jacks are working at full capacity. Be warned, the noise will draw in the locals. So stay on your toes and do what you can to protect and maintain the equipment. Hmm. Keep on fighting. More bugs coming your way. Guess we get some more nitra. Yeah, we're already 20% done. Get out of the way. <laughs> the light is on fire. Pump sequence at 25%. Liquid more kind is flowing to the refinery like honey. <laughs> yeah, it's not just my imagination. I am running into all those things. Exactly what I meant, but okay. <laughs> I think we've killed all those things now. All right, Bosco. Let's fix that one, buddy. I'm gonna try to fix this other one up here. Alright. 
I can just do this. So at least push him away. Actually, you become Steve. Fight for us. And I'm getting more grenades, more shields. I need those. Something like the auto cannon probably would have been better for this mission, or even the hurricane, where I got a bit more AOE. But I didn't know that there'd be Swarmageddon at the end. So, eh, it's whatever. <laughs> well, I haven't killed all those things yet. harder if it didn't have low gravity on it. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, take him out, Steve. You got this. Oh wow, I actually got beat up pretty bad there. Yeah, take him out, Steve. I wasn't really the best spot for that. That's okay. Another pipe. This should be the last one we have to fix. And then it's just a matter of survival. Isn't there was actually a lot more of those things than I thought there was here. I can't remember what they're called. Like a tender or something like that? Like a grove tender? I don't know. They've always reminded me of the... The one plants from Plants vs. Zombies that eat the graves. I don't remember what those things are called. The extraction of liquid morkite is running again. Keep up the good work or we'll be done in no time. Good job, Steve. More swarmers. That's bugged. My hill say that multiple times. Oh wow, okay, well. <laughs> May actually be safer on the ceiling than the ground. How many of those things are there? Keep bumping them. Oh, where is it? Ooh, okay. Well, yeah, let's get out of here then. Goodbye, cruel planet. As I light all the loot bugs on fire. Sorry, little loot bugs. I mean to. Alright, that was an interesting deep dive. There was a lot of stuff going on there. And there he is with the coconut on his head. <laughs> like a true champ. I went down four times that mission. It took an hour to complete. Dang. Had a thousand kills though. That one was a lot tougher than last week when we did no uh, overclocks. 
All right, so that'll do it for this week's Elite Deep Dive. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so very much for watching it. I really do appreciate that, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Thanks to all the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube, patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to be a part of it and get early access to videos, you can. There is links in the description as well as there's a join button over here on YouTube. You guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.